back to the Factor Uncensored, a harsh truth about sex. According to multiple studies, a majority of women fake having an orgasm during sex. That's anywhere between 60 to 80% of them. Oh, but not actress Rachel Bilson. She recently revealed that she keeps it all the way real in the bedroom, saying she has never pretended her partners could get her there. Let's talk about it. Joining me now is therapist Dr. Angela Jones for Angela After Dog. This is her segment, along with influencer Bevan Biggers, who also says she's never faked it. I Ever? Never, I never <laughs> had a reason to. I don't get it. You know, I really don't get it. I you're think, like, I think, man, you did a good think, job. I, <laughs> no, it's more you like... You tore that thing up. Yeah, but nothing <laughs> else happened. I think what helped me really was since, like, being a millennial, there's a lot of coming-of-age movies, teenage girl movies, that kind of taught me about my body. Instead of me focusing on the male focus, like, porn and mm -hmm. movies about pleasing the guy, I watched a lot of teenage films about girls or women coming of age and appreciating your body for what it is. Right. So I don't know what that means. But I know, I know, I know. But no, no. For me, for me, for me, I've never really had a reason to, because uh -huh. I don't get it. And I'm like, what am I faking? Because before, so before, like, I, before okay, I had you, one, I didn't like, know what okay, it was. Are you done? I mean, what's happening? No. I mean, sometimes you can enjoy it, but if I, if it could be good, but it could also be great. So it's usually good if I don't have one, but it's not great. So if they ask me, I'm always honest. Well, not they, because I'm. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so if I'm asked, I'm gonna be honest. Like, no, but it was cool. <laughs> it was cool. It was cool. Thanks and they're like, it, no, it's caused arguments. I'm like, hey, you no. Know, let me go jump off a bridge right now. Right. You should. So, <laughs> like, you should. Doctor Jones, your thoughts on this? You know, first of all, assess Bevin. Oh uh, no, and, I, you know the thing is, is that. We have lived in a culture where we have been taught that men's satisfaction in the bedroom uh -huh. is primary, and women were never taught that sex was for us. And she is right. We are coming to the space where we're just like, sex is for us too. And that includes not people pleasing in the bedroom, which means not trying to please someone's ego just because you want him to feel good. But the, the fact of the matter is, is they're not usually faking with us. So we should be honest in the bedroom. Maybe you actually can help them like with their bedroom skills uh -huh. if we are able to be honest with each other. But sometimes they also have to realize that a woman that does an orgasm, that doesn't technically mean she did not enjoy her time in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. That can mean that she's tired. Maybe she's not lubricating as much for whatever reason, for hormonal reasons medication that she's on, whatever. There's a lot of different reasons, but to fake an orgasm, it, I, I have seen it lead to a space of women not really even knowing, like, what does the actual orgasm feel like? Because uh -huh. all I have ever done see, was yeah. fake it. So I, I, I agree with her. I agree but with... See, I didn't uh, know what to fake. I, didn't know, I was like, before, before I even had one, I'm like, what am I supposed to be faking? I don't even know what I'm faking. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So that's why it never made sense. Then have, have you ever thought about, lo okay, let me tell you how to do it. Do you ever get to that point? Or if you don't know how to bring me to the point of orgasm and that leg shaking, then <laughs> it's um, on you. Yes, I, I do give teachable moments. <laughs> Absolutely. Teachable moments are good. But if you're unwilling to learn, then you say. And, and so have you had anyone who was offended by that? Yeah. That's not my problem. <laughs> you have to remember that like, you know, in, in the bedroom, you have to want to learn. So, of course, like we have, like I said, come from a society where women are faking their orgasms to please someone's ego. But now we have to come to a space of like, okay, maybe I wasn't doing something right. I want her to tell me, like, mm -hmm. does she not like it when I move my hips like this? But see, the faking the orgasms, it hurts. It hurts you in the long run because you think it that it's a one size fits all mm -hmm. and everybody else did it, which they were all faking it. Mm -hmm. So then you come to somebody who's like me and I'm like, okay, are you done? Wow. Yeah. And you know, right now, the, the other component that has been affecting it is porn because people look at porn and, mm. and in porn, what happens? Everyone gets an erection, everyone's having a good time, everyone orgasms. So unfortunately, even the younger generation, they're looking at that and they're trying to mimic that type of behavior in the bedroom, which includes 
faking their facials and sounds and comfortability just because they're like, this is what I saw, this is what it's supposed to look like, mm -hmm. so therefore that's what I'm supposed to do. And they're doing themselves an injustice because they're not honoring themselves, they're not honoring their body, and they're not they're not helping the man in the long run. Sometimes it's okay to sound like Medea, okay? <laughs> we don't have to sound, have these baby voices that you see on porn. Sometimes you sound like Medea. Oh, and that's Lord. okay. What are the <laughs> you know. Thank you guys for joining us. Damn, Bevin. Still ahead to. <laughs>